All right, let's create a trigger and an event tag for GA4 inside Google Tag Manager to see if people are interacting with our blog post. Okay, here's GTM. Let's go to the tag section. Now, have a look at this one. I've, I already have a GA4 event tag that is passing an event name of learn more button. So I'm gonna duplicate that one and then I'll kind of walk you through how it works. So I, I went here to these three dots and I, I went to I went to copy and then it's uh, it, it added this here, copy of. So that's how I know it's a copy. Okay. So let's modify this tag, GA4 event tag, and we're gonna say, instead of learn more button, it's gonna be read more button, because that's what it says on my website. Okay, in the tag configuration, if you're doing this from scratch, you'll go here to this pencil icon, you'll click on Google Analytics, and you'll click on Google Analytics GA4 event. Put your measurement ID here, right? You can get this from your Google Ads account or from your GA4 account. Right? But if it's if it's in the container already, it will tell you that it's already in the container. But this usually reflects the property of your GA4 account. And for the event name that I want to pass to GA4 when this event fires, so I can set it as an event in the platform, is read more, read underscore more underscore BTN, BTN re representing button. Okay. And now, how is this going to trigger? So let me show you. Here is the website. This is the blog page, right? Okay, we've got these buttons here. So which one is somebody clicking on? Okay. It's, it's, if we right click on the read more button itself and click on inspect, we can examine the code. Let's just grab read more as the text. Okay. And we'll go back to GTM. Get rid of this uh, existing trigger. Click on the triggering section. This is where you should be, right? If you're doing this from scratch, the trigger should be empty. So let's go from there. Click on this plus button, and we're gonna say read um, the format that I use. Uh, yeah, read more button button trigger. go here to all elements because as you can see in, in the website code where's my link here it is in the website code the text or the button itself hmm, you know what the whole button we can grab the we can grab the class from it right so if you right click the button, let's start that again, okay? We'll re right click the button, go to inspect. And it brings me to this read more text, right? But I want the whole button, the whole clickable button. And in this case, it's an A tag, meaning that it's going to a link. So let's grab the whole class. So if it's an A tag, the type of click tag in GTM will need to change. So it's not going to be just a regular click. It's going to be a link. This is going to go on some links and the click classes is going to be is going to be uh, click classes equals that whole thing, the whole thing uh, relating to the class. You see here. 
class equals. We're going to double click that and then go to copy. Uh, and what we're also going to do is we're going to try this. We're going to we're going to go click text equals read more. So we're going to grab that read more piece and we're going to say click text equals read more. I think that should work, I think, because it's two separate HTML uh, tags there. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to submit. I mean, ideally you should preview and then submit, but I'm a bit of a rebel today, so let's click on preview. Put in your website. Let's go over to blog. Click on read more. Now let's see what happened. So uh, link click. Oh, there it is. So it fired on link click. That was our uh, that was our condition, our, our triggering condition. So it did work, but let's see what caused it to work. Oh, okay, so it worked perfectly fine. So here, here are here are all the conditions, or here is the uh, the logic of the trigger. So click classes equals the full class, but also it could be that other buttons have the same class, which is why I narrowed it down to have the button um, uh, have the button contain a click text, so the button should have a text that equals read more. So imagine if that same kind of button style said learn more, that wouldn't necessarily pertain to the blog section, right? Maybe that's pertaining to a different button. So we want to narrow it down to the right kind of button. So in this case, I want to track the clicks of the blog buttons. So I have two conditions for my trigger. I have a condition for the full, the full class, Right, so I copied that and put that here, and then the full text on the button. So read more. Perfect. So looking for this, and then it equaled this. Looking for read more, and it equaled read more. Nice, I like that. Now let's go over to GA4, and uh, let's see what happens in the real-time view. There should be a history of it because I just clicked on, I just clicked around. And, uh, and, we, and because I'm the only one on the site, I can see what happened. Yeah, there it is. Read underscore more underscore BTN. I'm going to grab that. And then I'm going to go to admin. Right, so we see in the real-time view that GA4 noticed that an event fired when I clicked on that read more button. And that event fired because we set it up in GTM. So underneath the property, let's click on events. And then I'm going to click on create event and then click on create again. And then I'm going to click on, oh, I'm going to click on this event name area. I'm going to call it something read underscore more underscore event. Hmm. Let's just call it what it is. Read more underscore BTN event name equals read more underscore BTN. This is the highest level, right? So we didn't have to drill down to get to what we wanted in that real-time view. So we're gonna put exactly what it said in the real-time view, right? I'll show you. So if we go here to the real-time view again, home, go to real-time, right? Underneath here, event count by event name. If it's the first one listed that we care about, read underscore more underscore BTN, then we just put it directly read underscore more underscore btn event name equals read underscore more underscore btn we didn't have to do this and you know click on other things in order to kind of drill down to our event it was the first one there so we're going to leave it like this read underscore more underscore btn click on create 
Okay, and just like I mentioned in the learn more event video, once you start collecting data, that will show up here. And then you can click on this toggle mark as conversion. Then that will be in the conversions area. And what will happen is once you go to Google to, or once you go to Google ads, you can import those conversions into Google ads and you can bid against them either as a primary or a secondary conversion. Google ads will then optimize toward it if it's a primary conversion. If it's a secondary, Google ads will just observe it for reporting purposes. Awesome. Hopefully that helped you guys.